So we recently were in Beijing where we took a ride in Li Auto's pre-beta City NOA in a Lishang L9. This is another Lishang L9 here in Changsha. I'm Will and this is China Driven. The important thing here is this is not some sort of pipe dream software that may come sometime in the future. Li Auto claimed that this will be pushed to users in a hundred cities in China by the end of the year. And it's completely free. There's no one-time payment or subscription fee. If your Li Auto has the AD Max ADAS suite, then you'll simply get City NOA via OTA. Why? Well, that's because Li Auto's ADAS ethos is a commendable one. You see, they believe that if ADAS is there to make cars more safe, then safety shouldn't be a premium or optional feature. Safety should be standard to its users. So what exactly is AD Max? Well, that's Li Auto's advanced ADAS suite that you'll find in the Li L9, the Li L8 Max, and the Li L7 Max. It's basically the vehicles that have that hybrid roof mounted LiDAR, as well as six eight megapixel cameras and two five megapixel cameras, ultrasonic radars and a milliwave radar as well. They also come with the dual Orin X chip, putting out 508 tops. Be sure to hit that like button and comment down below if you'd like me to release the full unedited version of this drive. To clarify, I'm not an AI or ADAS expert, but let me try to explain from my understanding how the Li Auto's NOA city function works. Firstly, it's not relying on HD maps like some robo taxis or competitors, and it's not geofenced either. In this respect, it's more like Tesla's FSD beta. It's using BEV or bird's eye view modeling to build up the surrounding area stationary things like road structures and lanes, and then dynamic structures like other road users. The occupancy net understands the obstacles on the road that could be dynamic obstacles like pedestrian or road users, or unmovable obstacles like parked cars. Together, this basically builds a map on the fly. The most difficult case for this map building on the fly is around intersections for a couple of reasons. Obviously, busy intersections have a lot of things going on, and Li Auto uses NPN, Neural Priority Net, which basically is assembling junction layouts via fleet data, constantly updating. When a car on City NOA arrives at an intersection, it will have the data from AI Big Model about the junction layout, speeding up its awareness of the junction and allowing BEV and Occupancy Net to focus on what's happening in real time. Think people, cars, and mopeds doing crazy moped stuff. Li Auto say there are over 500 different types and combination of traffic lights in China and that the traffic signals are normally quite a distance away on the other side of the junction, sometimes too far for the camera to see them 100% clearly. So to avoid confusion whether the light is a left arrow or a right arrow or a circle, it simply looks at the color and refers to Li Auto's AI big model about how other Li Auto vehicles in that lane at that intersection behave when that specific light turns green. This system Li Auto claim is unique to them and it's called TIN, Traffic Intention Net. During our drive, the right-hand screen was rendering the engineering view, showing what the car is seeing. There are three maps. The left side is a combination of everything, whilst the right side shows the SD map at the top and the occupancy net at the bottom. Breaking down that left side, the green boxes are the other vehicles, the yellow boxes are pedestrian, red boxes are bikes and mopeds, whilst the blue boxes in the junction are the pedestrian crosswalks. The red lines bending and extending from other road users are the NOA's prediction of their travel direction and its own intended direction is a white line. On the right hand side at the top is the standard definition map, the basic route being followed. Below it shows the occupancy net working in real time. Red things are unmovable objects, blue is movable things like road users, yellow is places that might be open but not allowed to be driven on like sidewalks, and lastly green is vegetation like trees and bushes. 
With all of that out of the way, let's have a look at a few different things that happened along the drive that I'd like to highlight to show not only what the NOA system does, but also some of the difficulties on Chinese local roads. I said that the NOA tries to predict what other road users intended paths are, and here are a couple of examples. As we pull up to this pedestrian crossing, you can see in the engineering screen, the NOA trying to predict all of the mopeds and pedestrians intended travel paths, basically their red lines on the screen. If the car was driving and one of those red lines intersected its white line, then the car would come to a stop. In the distance, the white car is about to begin pulling out. As we get closer, our driver presses the horn, but the NOA doesn't freak out and hard brake as it determines the direction of the white car's travel will not encroach on our lane, seen in the engineering screen. The system wasn't faultless. There were a few occasions where disengagements were necessary, and here are a couple of examples. Here, the NOA makes a bit of a mistake pulling in behind a stationary object surrounded by cones. Once it realizes its mistake, it tries to indicate and pull out into the left lane, but with a constant flow of traffic in the left lane, it's unable to and has to be disengaged. However, we come back around past this thing again, and this time it causes no problems. That's the real problem with trying to review NOA systems after just a single drive. You never know what might cause a problem one out of 10 times, one out of 100 times, or if it's a situation that is a consistent problem. Of course, there are plenty of edge cases where something out of the ordinary happens, and due to the system being very new, it's unable to deal with it. In this example, there were some cones blocking the lane it needed to move into to turn left because of some ongoing construction. So once again, the system had to be disengaged. Lee referred to its city NOA as co-piloting between the driver and system. Is the system perfect? No. But for a first look at a relatively early city NOA, it was mightily impressive. For the hour journey, it basically drove us most of the time, only having to be disengaged less than a handful of times. It was dealing with cars in its way going around them, busy junction, pedestrian crossings, mopeds jumping out of front of it, and it took it mostly in its stride. I expect to see exciting things coming from Lee Auto's NOA in the near future. Once again, if you'd like me to release the unedited version of this full drive, then drop a comment down below. And if there's enough interest, we'll put it out. I'm Will, and this is China Driven.